Native English speakers sometimes muddle these verbs up. Do you know the difference? Watch and see. Um, so how old are you, Vicky? I'm, um, 32. Really? Lie has two meanings. If we lie, we don't tell the truth. Can they help us? No. What are we gonna do? I don't know. Is there a problem? Oh, no, no. We're great. You're lying. Yes. We're lying. In this meaning, lie is a regular verb. Lie, lied, lied. Easy, huh? Okay, let's forget that meaning and look at another one. This is Ksenia and she's lying down here. She's in a horizontal or resting position. This meaning is similar to the verb lay, but when we lay something, we put it down. Now here Ksenia is laying down Carter's toys, placing them on the floor. So lie means be horizontal and lay means place something down. So now it's time for some grammar. Are you okay? No, I've got a headache. Why don't you go and lie down? Lie is an intransitive verb and it has no object. We can lie on something, we can lie in something, we can lie under something, but we can't lie something. Lay is a transitive verb so it has an object. We always lay something. We can lay roads, build them by laying down asphalt. We can lay carpets, put them on the floor. We can lay bricks to build walls. Birds lay eggs and then they sit on them till they hatch. In British English, we lay the table. Oh, you've laid the table, thank you. In America, we say set the table. We can say that in British English too. Hey, stop that man! Put up your hands and lay down your weapon. Now here's a tip for when you're not sure which verb to use. If you can also use the verb place, then the verb you need is lay. So, Jay lays his book on the couch. He places it there. Lay down your weapon. Place it on the ground. Now, both of these verbs are irregular. And here's a tricky thing. Look at the past tense of lie. It's lay. Ugh. Sometimes English is so confusing. The good news is we rarely say lame these days, so let's forget about that. Trust me, you probably won't need it. Let's start with lie and we'll look at these two verb forms first. I'm tired. I think I'll go and lie down. I didn't sleep at all last night. Really? I lay awake all night. I thought I heard you snoring. Not me. It must have been Carter. So lie means be horizontal here, be in a resting position, and the past form is lay. Now let's look at two verb forms of lay. Has the mail come? Yes, I laid it on your desk. Thank you. Hey Vicky, have you seen the dry cleaning? Yes, I've laid it on the bed. Thank you. So we have the past and the present perfect here and the verb form is laid in both tenses. Now the most common mistake people make with these two verbs is they say laying when they mean lying. If something is just sitting somewhere, use the verb lie. Here are some examples. After you have laid a book on the couch, placed it there, 
then it's lying there, not laying there. Have you seen my book? I think I saw it lying on the couch. Oh, thank you. Now, how did it get there? So, is Jay lying or laying on the sofa here? Well, first he lays down on the sofa, places himself there, but now he's just lying down. He's in a horizontal position, at rest. If you see something lying on the ground, it's just sitting or resting there. It's only laying there if it's doing something else, like it's a chicken that's laying eggs or something. And that's it. That's the difference between lie and lay. Now don't forget, the past tense of lie is lay. We're just back from holiday, where I got a wonderful suntan. Unfortunately, Jay lay in the sun too long. Subscribe to our channel to see more of our videos. And if your organization needs specialized English language training, we make videos for that too. So get in touch if we can help.